Are you colorblind? I'll use the Ishihara colorblind test to show what these images look like to people with different kinds of colorblindness or color deficiency. Everybody should see a 12 here, even if you're colorblind. This is used as a warm-up for people to get used to understanding what they should look for during these tests. While this looks like an 8 to somebody with normal vision, it looks like a 3 to people with red-green color deficiency like protanopia. But people with blue deficiency can still see an 8. And this one looks like a 5 with normal vision, but people with red-green deficiency can't really see anything. 8% of all guys are colorblind, while only half a percent of all women are colorblind. And it's most common to have a red or green deficiency, with it being more rare to not be able to see blue. Let's get back to those tests, though. Some tests have people trace a squiggly line instead of looking for numbers. People with normal vision will see two different paths here, while only one path will show up for people with red-green deficiency. And similarly, normal vision will show a 26 here, but red-green deficiency essentially hides the two unless you know what you're looking for. But there are some sneaky tests, though, where you actually only see the hidden images if you are colorblind. Here are some examples of those. And the main Ishihara colorblindness tests are used to detect red-green deficiency because it's much more rare for people to be blind to blue light. But here are some examples of how blue blindness affects how these different patterns look. And here are more examples of exactly how the different types of color blindness change what real things would look like. Please subscribe if you found this interesting or helpful. Thanks.